Hi there, welcome to our first episode of Skeld's Reactor. I haven't actually titled it, so if you heard that, it's a working title for change. That's, that's um, something else's fault. I'm gonna blame a mod some way down the line. Anyway, I've got uh, Tail Radish with me. He's gonna be showing me pictures of Dag and Robert characters. I pronounced that right? They probably didn't. Okay. No, you got it right. Dag and Robert. Oh, yeah. Let's get a rum later on. So. Uh, <laughs> I was going to record the Discord chat that came along, and we decided, nah, we're going to put it in post, just have it come up. So, um, so what, have we, what have we got? Can I, can, first of all, can I point out that it was not our decision, it was you're in a, with your machinery? No, no, that's getting edited out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Let, let's actually start no, this. No, no, it's okay. So, here, so here's some context, since you've never played Danganronpa before um so the whole idea is there's this boarding school right yeah it, um it's called hope's peak academy is anything like um and hogwarts because that is all oh, sort of okay <laughs> um so all right here's the deal with hope's peak academy it's virtually impossible to get in it's a private boarding school and you only get invited if you have some kind of talent if you are an extremely talented teenager, so like it it doesn't it doesn't matter who you are, but you have to be talented. Cause like that just sounds like normal private schools. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, but like, look, you're some fucking weirdos at Hope's Peak. Let's just let's just let's just establish that. So you mix camp, you get some camp half weirdos. blood with Hogwarts with um whatever fantasy uh, schools for the talented. Um, idiot for yeah, it's um, yeah. but it's it's like not super supernatural. Oh, yeah, whatever, it's not supernatural. So okay. the the basic idea the basic idea is that these kids all have a talent, and uh, so they're all called the ultimate something. Oh. So for example, if you were immensely if you were about ten years younger and immensely talented at what you do, you'd probably be the ultimate YouTube star. Oh. Yeah, probably. So I that, am the so ultimate kinda... YouTube star. Look at me with my currently two hundred and five subscribers in a year. Do you know how many people work for like two years to get fifty? You know, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've had my own go at this. All right, so enough chit chat. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw you right into yeah. it. Okay. All right, so here's our first boy. That looks um, like he is not tying his shoelaces properly. For one, he no, he he needs to fix that. Um, I, okay, so you guys can see it on screen now, but um, he kind of looks like Red from Pokemon without the hat. <laughs> okay, uh, like, all right. I, just, I don't understand like, why he's so happy. Maybe he's, he's actually his legs so far forward that one's for far back. He's probably mid trip at the moment, and. Why does he look happy? He's, he's mid trip at the moment. <laughs> Are you implying that he's like a masochist or something? No, I'm implying that he's high. Oh, <laughs> just you wait. Um, I I don't know. Like, it, if anything, I don't think this is a protagonist. I think he's like the protagonist friend at best, but it's. Because he doesn't have crazy hair. Okay, so he, so he's he's like the best friend character. I was right. So no no like I'm like oh, repeating okay, what yeah, you said. Okay, I thought it was like yeah I'm right. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so he so he's high as fuck. Needs to tie his shoelaces. He's like he's like the best friend. What's his talent? I want to know about his talent. His talent is, um, he probably rides a bike really well and sleeps a lot in class. You know, <laughs> you know that actually sounds pretty plausible. <laughs> so I watched a uh, lot of anime. So, what, what kind of name do you think this guy has? Just give me any name. I've heard some weird shit when it comes to him. So wait, are we going with Japanese names or are we going with some dub names? Just whatever the fuck comes to comes to mind first. Someone called him Pericles. I, I, I was going to okay? go with Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there's some there's some irony to that. It's it's wrong, but there's some irony. there's some irony. 
we record. Sweet. Uh, if if we record the second, uh, if we record the second cast, I'll I'll tell you about okay. that. Anyway, so shall I introduce our lovely boy sure. here? This is Makoto Nagi. He is in fact the the main protagonist oh. of this game. Um, and his talent, he kind of doesn't have one. His talent is that he the ultimate lucky student, which basically means that this academy picked him like out of a one in a million chance from a lottery. Oh. And they're like, okay, you can come here as the ultimate lucky student. That's he's literally Charlie from the Chocolate Factory. Kind of like, like all those other families bought like a shit ton of chocolate bars, and he buys one. You know what? And wins. <laughs> That's very accurate. <laughs> okay, so who we got next? Okay, so uh, yeah. Also, you were kind. Of, I mean, like he isn't high as fuck, but he's a very happy boy. He's probably high as fuck um, off screen. Probably. <laughs> All right, here here's our first girl. She looks like a um son and side character from like it in the edgy series anime that like beats up oh. werewolves or something on like a regular basis. Good, good lord she good lord she fucking does. <laughs> 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 I I hadn't thought of Wait until just now, and now that image burned in my head. Thank you. You're welcome. Just like it just looks like that, and she probably doesn't even look like she shows an emotion. So if she was like even a love <sighs> interest for the like protagonist, she'd be like the Sundari <laughs> bitch who ignores him for like two seasons. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop saying it. No, stop. Look, I thought you said you didn't play this game. I didn't. I just know anime <laughs> architectures. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, like, any anything else you can glean from this? Okay, so <laughs> since she's in a... So it's not a supernatural school, apparently, so... she's no, It's not very okay, supernatural. So she's in there because she's either incredibly smart or she's a very good athlete for some reason. And the only reason she's a good athlete because they they gave her a short, short skirt, so that's mostly fan service if there's any like movement. <laughs> okay, all right. So what's her talent? What's her ultimate talent? Her ultimate talent is super sundary bitch mode, where she just like ignores all the other characters <laughs> and does her own thing. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of <laughs> right, but kind of wrong. Um, so this, so names, any names that come to mind? Um, she's got white hair, so I go with something like Lily or something. I like Lily. Okay, <laughs> so sh shall I tell you about yeah. this uh, gorgeous young lady? Okay. So here's the thing about her talent. Um, I kind of can't tell you because no. it's intertwined with the story. That's it. A... Like, even if you go to like the official Degging Rampa page, it'll tell you like. The ultimate question mark, question mark, question oh. mark. So it's kind of tied to the game. So I can't tell you. Wait, I know what so, it is. So I, I, so I gave you. her more backstory than the wiki does. Uh, well, don't look at the okay. wiki. It, it has okay. Spoilers. Uh, Link to um, the wiki in the description so below, people. Her... <laughs> yeah. Please. No. <laughs> I want. I want to see him actually play this. Uh, so her name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Okay. Um, she she's kind of cool collected. You're right about the smart thing. She's very smart. Yeah. Uh, and she's she's actually generally pretty useful. Um, I will say this: she's kind of your buddy throughout the game. Yeah. Um, so yeah, she's she's pretty neat. That sounds pretty helpful. Um, she's your buddy. Apparently, if you're the main character, yeah. the w really weird high guy, and you got smart. It's a very athletic person that's helping you out. That's all, all right, good. All right. all right, are you ready for uh, our next yep. boy? All right. Tell me about this. Okay, chat. okay. So this guy, <laughs> he's. I'm sorry, I cracked myself up. Call. Chat. Please continue. So he is from a 
rich noble family and uh, he actually got booted out before he joined the academy but they somehow stole the money and they never mentioned until the second season and um he's not actually very smart but he has an air of like incompetence that makes him sound smart to people that don't know he's not <laughs> what I'm sorry, just <laughs> imagining him in circumstances. <laughs> he also seems like he would be the class president, but I feel like the super lucky guy would have gotten that over him for some reason. Because <laughs> he's, like, more popular. Like, no one fucking votes for yeah. him. So it's like, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> guess we'll make Makoto the fucking class rep, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you think this what do you think this dude's talent is? This dude's talent <laughs> is putting on his glasses and pretending to be smart. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny cuz it's kind of true. <laughs> All right, okay. All right. <laughs> you know, I feel like real dang and rap fans are <laughs> call me out for so much of the shit I say in this video, but it's just like, I can imagine so well, much of it. I haven't seen it, so I can only guess based on what I'm looking at. Right. I mean, that's what makes this entertaining for me and for the audience. So, what do you think this boy's name is? Okay. I'm just gonna go with something like really generic, because I've only been giving them, like, English names. That's fine. I, that's fine. I'd probably go with Princeton for some reason, because that's like a very generic anime name for a rich person. Hold on, like Pri Princeton? Princeton? Princeton. Yeah. Holy shit, that actually fit. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't given people All names right, that I... don't fit yet. <laughs> Alright, so should, should yeah. I tell him about go ahead. this guy? So th this guy is Byakuya Togami, the uh... uh the ultimate affluent progeny, okay. which basically means he's an heir to a really fucking large corporation. Huh. So I was, I was uh, right about the um, heir part. Yeah, he's he's actually filthy rich. It's kind of disgusting. Uh, a little bit of note about this Byakuya guy. He's kind of a dick. I was right about that as well. <laughs> He's just a little bit of a dick. Uh, you, uh, he needs to be seen. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> it's Togami. Who cares? Um. I, I care. I think. So. I don't know. <laughs> probably don't. I... All right. So I, I'm going like boy, girl, boy, girl. Cause, like, that really works. I mean, uh, if you throw so, in a uh, trap at some point, I'm be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, will I? Will I not? Every anime is a trap. All right. Well, is this our trap right here? No, it's not the trap. I think. Yep. Um, anyway, so fair. her talent is she's a generic every man musician. So, like, no matter what scene she's in, she's able to play the instrument that she has. That would be. A Kick ass talent, honestly. It <laughs> All right, go um, on. And like, she's it's like her outfit says pop star, so I'm guessing she's like more like a pop rock kind of person, and doesn't okay, yeah, I doesn't really that. excel well at the um, writing and like reading parts of an academy aspect, but she's good at like the more physical or like verbal classes okay so basically you're saying you basically you're saying she can't fuck she can't what sorry it was just clipping a little bit she basically you're saying she can't fucking yeah. read okay great <laughs> <laughs> probably true um okay so she's got black hair she's wearing pink and she sings yes. so i'm gonna call her ruby ruby oh, that's like <laughs> all right so her name is ruby uh so shall I tell you about our beautiful girl? Yeah, here? sure. Okay. All right. So her name is Sayaka Maizono. Okay. She, you, you were on to someone with the pop star thing. She's the ultimate pop sensation. Uh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it's kind of obvious given how she looks, but you she's know, actually dressed like a K-pop star. 
Yeah. Uh, she also kind of takes an early liking to our boy Makoto over here. Oh. Um, she's generally nice. Uh, you're right. She's not the sharpest tool in the shed, but she's a good girl. Just like, I think this pl person's not very smart. You're right. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> people get mad when I call people out, right. like, like places they go. Like, this person doesn't seem very bright. It's like, you can't say that. Then they don't prove me wrong. <laughs> All right, you yeah. ready? Are you ready for our next yeah. boy? Okay, great. Okay, and uh, it's an in game sprite. I'm sorry. It's yeah, it's right. Okay, so harder. this guy is actually Lysander when he was still in his formative years in high school outside. Um, <laughs> he was actually raised on the Orange Islands, and that's like <laughs> why he got he returned to <laughs> fucking wheezing. <laughs> France Pokemon. <laughs> he actually got like <laughs> very depressed that there was like more people and there were Pokemon he wanted to fix it because he's like, on oh, the Orange Islands, there were way less people in Pokemon. Why can't we have that again? Okay, so you're just explaining less than Dre at this yeah, but, point. Uh, anyway, on, so, man. um. Th so th this is young him. <laughs> anyway, so. Th okay, okay this, this guy it. is probably <laughs> the uh, gentleman head of the. Um, the skull. He's got a little safety pin in like his jacket. So a little safety pin. Like, it's it, it's small because the image isn't very big. Um. <laughs> anyway, um. So I'm guessing in the skull, his talent is that he ex he's very good at things that take adrenaline and probably like gymnastics or something that you do in his classroom for some reason and um <laughs> it seems like he would that's a really funny he opinion. would be like the cool kid to some degree but it's because it's an anime style game he'd be the least popular cool kid <laughs> so he's like a cool kid but he's also kind of a fucking yes. loser <laughs> you know what that's pretty true and um <laughs> I know we I know we called the um our guy like the the Chad from the pre like the previous guy, but yeah, like yeah. I would call this guy something along like a Chad name. So we're gonna go with like uh, what's he? Well, he's got orange hair, so we're gonna call him Mackenzie for now. Mackenzie, that's a. You know what? That actually fits him pretty well. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> so, um, shall I introduce yeah. this this stunning young man? Uh, this yeah. is Lee Wan, Lee, shit, Leon Kuwata. Um, he is the ultimate baseball pro. I was right. Adrenaline sports. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I would have shown you his normal character illustration, but it like makes it very plainly obvious he's a baseball star, so I'm like, eh, yeah, that's so he's not a, like a, a Pokemon master professor person. Uh, you know what? He probably would be. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, are you ready for our next girl? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let's, let's see this. Um, what we got? I, I, you know, this is kind of my favorite character in the game. Got to so rip really into her in immensely. <laughs> You know, after you see her face, you're going to regret those words. She is yeah. the ultimate computer nerd. And she has her sound <laughs> system set up in the worst way possible from that image because she has, you gotta, like... You gotta admit, though, it's a dope-ass sound system. Yeah, it's a dope-ass sound system if, like, you want your eardrums to explode... Because well, you don't well, want yeah. you you don't want treble and um, mid speakers that close to your face unless it's through earphones. But anyway, so um, uh, I'm yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm all right. So so she, tell me about this girl. I want I want to know what you have to say. She's probably very good at tech, but not very good at going anywhere outside of her, her like room or classroom. Uh so so she's. She's shut a shut-in. She probably doesn't have any love interest with the main character, but probably likes the adrenaline, like the baseball guy from before, for some other reason. 
um, that he'll, she'll probably oh just get gosh. like ignored what? by the entire time, even if when she leaves her room. It's like one of those weird things. Um, she probably does really well at the classwork, but when it comes to like the physical sports and stuff, she just like never shows up for whatever reason. And um, she's like, nope, fuck this, I'm out. I already know how this yeah, ends. Exactly. She's just like never there. She's always absent. Um, oh, she. That's very true, but also very sad. <laughs> and um, she's what? Well, she, what? Can I, she's wearing green with a brown skirt. She's actually wearing a different uniform than the first girl. That uh, there's like no actual uniform besides the um. No, they all just kind of wear whatever. It's, it's really weird for a um. Like I like I said, the Hoopstick Academy just kind of does whatever the fuck it wants. Okay, so <laughs> so like you can you can show up to school dressed in whatever our boy Leon or what what did you name him? Uh, which one's Leon? What did you the red haired dude we just got over? Mackenzie. Mackenzie, right? <laughs> thank like... you. Uh, they like that's why Mackenzie can roll up looking like that. Yeah. Oh, and then uh, our our Chad friend Princeton yeah. comes in with a fucking suit. Yeah, if you, if you didn't you know. call if you didn't call the other guy Chad, this guy the guy before it would mean Chad. But um, what can um? Okay, so she yeah looks like basically so there's this no person uniform. looks like she's programming. There's some head head things in this uh, sound system. Probably looking at vital signs or something. So and she's playing a um. The command. She's got the command prompt going, and is running it. She does a script of some kind. So, um, yeah. Geez, how many shells do you fucking have to have going at once? A lot. So, um, <laughs> I might. Grab, um, probably something like Scarlet or something. Scarlet. Oh, that's a very pretty. I'm good name. at naming people. But anyway, so what? What's this character about? Okay, so this um, this absolutely adorable little lady is named Chihiro Chihiro Fujisaki. Um, yeah. She is the ultimate programmer, as you were just kind of noting. You said like ultimate computer nerd, it's right? It's the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, so she is the ultimate programmer. Yeah. You are very correct. I, I will say you're very correct about like she skips gym kind of yeah. thing. <laughs> Um, and she's just, uh, she's very shy, very generally yeah. kind of adorable impression. Uh-huh. And she's sort of my favorite character. Um, I think you'll really like her arc if you actually play through the game. Mm-hmm. Yep. So who have we got next? All right. So this is, um, kind of one of my favorite and least favorite Boys, you're about to see why in a second here. All right, here we go. Okay, so this guy is actually a teacher. <laughs> All right, he's a teacher. Got it. Um, he shows up to like he doesn't wear his jacket properly because he's. Oh wait, no wait. This I'm just going to my hero academia now. Um, <laughs> oh please, please go ahead. That's what we're here for. He's um okay. So his talent is he's very spiritual, so he can actually summon spirits to help the students concentrate on what they're doing. Oh, oh my gosh, that that makes him sound way cooler <laughs> than he really is. Like his head, his hair okay. actually because it fa- it fans out right into like. Pretty much an alien shape from the movie Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So okay, it's actually then. being used as a radar to connect to the spiritual world around him. And. <laughs> oh, fuck! This is, uh, this is what we came here for. He is a crystal ball, not only to communicate with these spirits, but also because he's a um, contact juggler. Ju- juggler? Okay. Uh, so he's he does circus tricks and stuff in front of the class. But anyway, so he's in this little yin yang thing. So every now and again, he'll be like really nice to the students, and then the other time, he'll be like, rah, 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 and be like, ah. Oh. 
where he gets like possessed and stuff. He actually gets possessed throughout the class to like teach. He gets, to, he gets possessed to teach okay. different history lessons. <laughs> so he's a history yeah. teacher. <laughs> Me. You're making you're making this dude out to be way cooler than he really is. I have to do it. He doesn't like if he was a student, he'd probably be like the hippie of the class. And I'm like, okay, so he's a student now. He's the hippie of the class. He sits at no, the I, I liked teacher hot. I liked him because he was a teacher. He um sits at the middle to the back and um because I keep sending him here there because he keeps lighting incense in the middle of the class and everyone can smell it. And um <laughs> He yeah. actually has, he's, um, oh, what's the word? Um, so he's a steer of some kind. He can, like, see what's going on, kind of, like, into the future, kind of. He's, like, so he's, like, he's a, a mystic. mystic. Yeah, and, and okay. um, he likes the insects. He uses a crystal ball and stuff, and he also has, like, the yin yang thing. So he's actually also maybe an avid tabletop gamer of some sort in the class. Oh, my gosh. That'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> Okay, so, and um, I need to name him. You, you keep saying things that make me like, oh my gosh, what a, what a badass. And then I realize what he's actually like. And I'd probably give him, like, a name like Eli or something like that. Eli would absolutely fit this guy. Okay, so what, who is he? Oh, gosh. Okay, so this is Yasuhiro Hagakure. Yeah. Um, so... I'm I'm just gonna keep like everything he said as him, <laughs> as the teacher. Let's just assume that's true when he's a he teacher. He's a teacher. Um, uh, no, uh. he's not. But I'm I'm headcanoning that forever now. I just hope you realize that. Um, yeah, just wanted to say that. Um, as a student, he you're right about him being a mystic. Yeah. He is the ultimate clairvoyant. Okay, so I was right. Seer. Yeah. Yes, he's a seer. Uh, um, you're also very right about him being a fucking yeah. hippie, um, because of course he is. And you know what? You actually pretty much got him down pat. <laughs> <laughs> you pretty much just like stated everything about him, the, and it was factual, but you made it sound <laughs> cool. Okay. Yeah. Whoops. It, it's it it, it it do be like that though. Even the tabletop thing. Yeah, I mean, he'd know about it. Okay. Like, he, 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 I'd imagine him, like, going to Friday Night Magic, you know? Friday Night Magic is fun, kids. Go to it. it it's a great money sink. Dude, if I saw Hagakure, sorry, Eli, at, at Friday Night Magic, I'd fucking go there every week. Okay. So he, he's, he's, uh, he's what anyway. I said he was, but not as cool, apparently. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and like everything you said about him as a teacher is pure gold. Anyway, next girl, right? Ne time for next yeah, I girl. I think we'll make this the last person because we're getting to like a very. Oh, it's um, it's the rival for uh, not the rival um the rising star from Pokemon. <laughs> from um X and okay. Y. Oh boy! No, no not the rising All star. Right. Um, Ace Trainer. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. well, yeah, she kind of is an Easter looking, Um, So, okay, so she's probably a senior student of some kind. Right. And she's wearing a right. um, track shirt, so she is actually our indoor sports person. Okay. And, um, also, by the way, you've gone through a lot of the cast, so I want to try to see if we can finish okay, this. Gone through, okay, so, um, so she's indoor track. She... Does go to the regular classes, but she'd probably not pay as much attention as um, anyone else because she's it's not her thing. Um, she's fairly nice to most of the characters, but doesn't actually prompt any social situations or like advance the story when she's on screen in any way. Um, as for like. There's not actually much you can do with a student that does that, so I just gotta go with naming her and probably go with something like Sand, like, yeah. like Sandy or something. Sandy, okay. So what's her talent? Um, her talent. But like, you her talent is you said like indoor, indoor sports. sports. So she'd be like, um, maybe like 
not basketball or something, but more like rhythmic gymnastics or something like that. Just something. Okay. But it involves a lot of movement, but not like outdoors sprinting kind of thing. All right. So I know I'm going to fuck this up because I I always butcher her name. So this is Aoi Asahina. Um, yeah, she's she's very cheerful. She's very nice yeah. to everyone. Her talent is as the ultimate swimmer. Oh, indoor sport. Yeah, <laughs> you were right. <laughs> uh, she's the ultimate swimmer, and um, there's a reason. This was like Leon, where it's very obvious. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll see if I can find her character art yeah. later. Anyway, so you have to see some of the best character art in all of Danganronpa. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. great. Here's our next boy. Okay, this guy, this guy here, <laughs> is I like the start. <laughs> is the would be class rep if I ever got the beginning didn't get it by accident. Um, he's very energetic. Everything he does, he does with an air of passion about it. And the um, text around yep. the background from the truck. Isn't um, just writing; it's his name. He's very into like his own person, and he's got the. Um... I don't actually know what that said. That might actually be his name. And, I can't um, tell. <laughs> he's got the uh, whole monitor shoulder pad as well. Um, if he's on a team, because based on what he's wearing, he's actually on the equestrian. So he's like the best horseman kind of person in the school. Um, and he says similar personality traits to a horse, I believe. So he's, um, you know, he's very passionate about what he does and he just like stands tall most of the time, but he's also, his eyes are bright red. Yeah. So I'm guessing he's like got some kind of random mystical power whenever he gets like way too into things. Oh my gosh. That's actually fucking true. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so he's, a, and, um, what can so I'm gonna go to the naming part because I've already like pretty much gotten through his character, but um, right, you've been very accurate with these so far. It's very I call fun. him Jack. Jack. All right, cool. So you you said his talent is is like equi- like yeah. equestrian. All right. So this is uh, Kiyotaku Ki- Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Okay. Um, he is the ultimate moral compass. Oh. Uh, so basically, he's you know like like the hall monitor. He's okay. the he he's the he's the ultimate goody yeah. tissue. Uh, he is very passionate. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think you were right about that mystic thing, okay. <laughs> like the mystic powers. Yeah. Um, he actually becomes best buddies with our programmer girl. Oh. I knew she. I knew she had yeah. a love interest somewhere. I just didn't see all the characters yet. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, so next next yeah. person. Oh, all right, great. People are going to be pissed that I waited this long to introduce her, but here we. Go. There we are. Okay, this is the religious fan, fan girl of the. Uh... Story. She has read so many different volumes of fantasy novels that she references them at all times. And if she, and if Harry Potter existed in her world, not only would she have read it, she would have written a better fanfic than J.K. Rowling could ever written, have written. <laughs> you know what? That's pretty much canon. Um, <laughs> so she probably would sit at the very, very back of the class and be even more shut in than our nerd girl. And yep. <laughs> Her talent is probably similar to photographic memory, where every single book that she has written, she can memorize as well as an encyclopedia. Hold on, written or read? Like she's she reads it so every single book that has been written that she has read, she can memorize like an encyclopedia. I like, see. Yeah, I see. Okay, and you mentioned like she does some writing yeah. herself. You were like making that J.K. Rowling yeah. joke. Oh. Uh, all right. So shall I explain this girl I'm to you? Oh. oh, yeah, right. Of course. <laughs> Sorry. Like... Um, 
Um, yeah, my bad. It's late over here. I'm in the like states. Lynette or something. Lynette, that's a. Why do you have such good names for these characters? <laughs> I. All right, so I went for a naming course. This shall I explain? Yep. Yeah. Cool. All right, so this is Toko Fukawa. Yeah. Um, she is generally considered pretty adorable. Uh, uh, I don't see it, but that's just me. Um, she's uh, you got know, most of her personality, if you're right? Um, yeah. And she is the ultimate writing prodigy. Ultimate what? Sorry. The ultimate writing prodigy. Okay. So, um, so you know, she probably could do that fanfic thing you were talking about. Sweet, I always wanted a bit. <laughs> Subscribers, please write me a better fanfic than the actual Harry Potter story, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, righty then. Uh oh, did I? I lost a picture. Hold just on. Just when you get done with that, just the just guys. rewrite a better version of whatever you think needs to be better. Because I'm pretty sure you can. <laughs> just like <go>, just someone's <laughs> just like, like life goals should be going back through bad books and just writing them better. <laughs> you know, I think people do that already. <laughs> yeah, they don't get paid for it. All right. So, um, who's next? So, speaking of fan, speaking of fanfic writer, by the way. Okay, so this guy is. Ooh. Okay, before you say anything, give me a name. Eric. <laughs> Eric. <Yep. laughs> All right. Okay. Then. Cool. Great. Continue. <laughs> so, um, he spends most of his time with junk food in and out of the class. He spends way too much time playing video games, and then he's got a box of tissues and a pad, so he probably does artwork of some kind. Not going to um, imply anything, and he also seems to have a um, calendar with him, so he's very bad at keeping to deadlines in general, so he's a, um, he's a foodie artist, uh, air quotes. I see, I see. So, shall, shall I introduce this yep. boy? This is Hifumi Yamada. So, I was like, oh man, speaking of fanfic writers, yep. right? That's actually what this dude's talent is. Writing fanfics. He's the ultimate fanfic writer. That explains the tissues. Um. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. He's kind of like the biggest loser in existence. That's what I verbally said he was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, we've got we've got that extremeness out of the yeah. way, right? I mean, like we've pretty much peaked. Yeah, we have. Right? Okay. Oops. Like we we've pretty much peaked. There's there's nothing more after this. Like I don't, you know, people. I think you should be let down after everything after Hifumi. This is <laughs> gone after his <laughs> sex change operation. He got white hair because he had um, jeans spliced with someone else, like that guy from the second season. Um, yeah. <laughs> this girl, as you would call it. <laughs> Um, she's a girl. She's the ultimate she like, like, martial girl. artist. And that's why she has to take steroids to keep up the men. She also has like no sense of self because apparently she just has her leg up so high you can see that she's actually wearing a thong of some sort. Or is that a white hat? I don't know. But um No, that's I think I think that's her undergarments, and, but I can't confirm nor deny with this picture. And um <laughs> So yeah, she's in the school because she's the most talented fighter in the world to some degree for some reason, and um, she seems to. Mean for some reason? Are you looking at her? Well, have you ever been in a fight? You don't need to have massive muscles. In fact, the bigger your muscles, the more annoying it is to fight in a um. Okay, yeah. Area. Look at that fucking kick. Oh yeah, no. If, you, if, if you're if you're clicking, though. if you're so if your main move is you're kicking in midair, you will lose ninety percent of your fights. So she's the best fighter, but in the game, I'm guessing she actually loses most of her fights somehow. 
Okay. Okay, by the way, have I mentioned what genre this game is? No. This is a horror, like, not a horror, uh, this is a murder mystery series. Oh, okay. So, all right, you're absolutely correct about her being the ultimate martial yeah. artist. Uh, do you have a name? I've gotten some good ones on this character. Um, I'm going to call her Ryu. Ryu? Kind of a kick-ass name. You know, if you, if you squint, she kind of looks like evil. Yeah. Ryu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like complete with the art style and everything. Uh, all right. Anyway, so this is Sakura U- Sakura Ogami. Why doesn't the girl with, um, with the pink skirt be called Sakura? Don't fucking question okay. it. <laughs> Shut <Okay>. up. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Sakura Ogami. Yep. Uh, she's kind of awesome. You can tell because she's an um, eight pack. She does have an eight pack. Okay. <laughs> Very observant of you. <laughs> uh, you're also kind. You're also pretty right about that, like sense of self yeah. thing. You know, she's she's very selfless. She's a very good oh. person. Um, yeah. No, like she she's actually she like seems very scary, but trust me, she's she's a good guy. She's a good girl. She's like Bruce Lee, but on steroids and female. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that's that's about right. Sorry, uh, um, fans out there whose characters I'm either ruining or making cooler. <laughs> no, don't worry, it's all good. Are you ready for a next for a next yeah, okay. person? So th- this boy is also quite buff. Okay, so this is actually the pop guy from Kill la Kill, who happened to go to high school after his character arc ended. I'm sorry, spoilers. Um, <laughs> No, I haven't seen Kill a Kill. How dare you? Uh, yeah. I actually haven't, but I'm anyway. Not um, so he, unlike our other chick there, he's he's the school bully. He beats up people for no reason, but somehow also has a strong sense of justice. Um, you know what? That's pretty fucking accurate. <laughs> Because he's he has a pump and uh, and a mullet at the same he, time, so he's got he absolutely has a pump and a mullet at the same time. So he's got like the two worst eighties hairstyle, and he his weapon of choice seems to be excuse excuse me excuse me worst eighties hairstyles. I think you need to correct that to best best for eighties, worst for now. Um, <laughs> so um, he looks like he'd be from a. Um, a more noble household in a Japanese area because he has like a lion belt and so on and like actually nice clothes and um his weapon seems to be like a pole armed mace so I'm not sure if that's a good weapon or not because of its shape but it would certainly be very scary to have someone like that in school and he's probably very proficient can, in martial arts of some kind as well can I put what? something out that's a street sign. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't I wasn't sure. I just thought it was like but okay, so he's he, he wields a street sign. Okay, so he's he's just a hooligan. He's actually just like a big douchebag. He's just a fucking hooligan. <laughs> Is that his talent? Yeah. I'm the ultimate hooligan. What are you gonna do about it? Just like fuck the school, fuck the system. Right. Boom! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> he would. <laughs> All right. So this, so this boy right hasn't here been named. Hasn't, hasn't been named yet. Hasn't Awada. been named yet. Hasn't been named yet. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you know what? This guy gets to be Chad. <laughs> Chad. He's Chad. <laughs> Acceptable. <laughs> All right. As I was about to explain, my bad That's for okay. going ahead there. Um, so this boy is Mondo Owada. Mm-hmm. Um. And his talent is, you're not too wrong, he's the ultimate biker gang leader. Ah, look at that. <laughs> he, he leads an entire biker gang. Mm-hmm. And, you know, fuck the system is pretty accurate. Yep. <laughs> I, I, people are going to get pissed at me because I probably actually really butcher these characters. But to be fair, I haven't played the original Danganronpa in a while. I've never played it. <laughs> 
You, you know, you need to do it on the channel someday. <sighs> if you do longer episodes, you absolutely must. It's a I great series. Castlevania, we're like near the fun pots. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. Are you ready for our next girl? Next girl, next girl. All right. Okay, so... Um, her name is Bellatrix Lestrange. She's... Uh, uh, yeah, sure, let's go with that. <laughs> um, very good at uh, being very fucking weird and doing card magic tricks. <laughs> She doesn't have a lot of friends, <laughs> and if <laughs> if they brought their own lunch to school, she'd bring the exact same thing every day, and no one would sit with her. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Not because they don't want to, but because she's kind of creepy, and they'd rather stay away from her, especially with like the two oh, giant boy. swirly pigtails coming out the back of her that she's. Apparently sitting on in this image. I'm not sure you sit on your own pigtails, but you know what? It's like it look, they look like mini tornadoes. So they probably there's probably some air magic involved there. Um, she looks like she'd be the ultimate maid of some kind as well because she is in a maid's outfit. The ultimate maid. Okay. And um, she doesn't interact much with the main cast. No, she really doesn't. <laughs> All right, so one, one more, one more. I think we have one more. Okay. Uh, what, what's, her name? what's her name? What's her back. name? What's her name? I've already, sorry. I already named her. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Sorry, Bellatrix is yeah. strange. Right? How could I forget? I mean, you're you've, you're on the right. Idea. This is Celestia Ludenberg. Yeah. Oh, she does have two um, names. She is... <laughs> yeah, she does. Uh, her name, uh, so her talent is she is the ultimate gambler. Oh. Uh, she is the ultimate gambler, so she's very she, she'd fit right into Kakigurui, don't you yeah. agree? All right, I swear I'm missing someone, but all right, we got one more, we got one more girl for it. Uh, girl, 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 okay, sweet, yeah. I swear I'm missing someone. <laughs> we're we're about done. Don't worry. Okay, so this is um she's I don't know how to describe her. She looks like she sorry people, she looked like she be the skill slut. But um <laughs> she probably isn't and she probably has a Love interest with the protagonist of some kind later on in the show or game or something. Um, her talent, uh... her talent, <laughs> is actually just looking good. Apparently, she doesn't actually do the writing or the reading or the in or the sports or anything. She just looks. She good. she just looks good. There we go. <laughs> um, that's it. She needs a name. I have to give her like uh maybe old fashioned. New fashioned? Who knows? Um, Who knows? Uh, we're gonna call her Harley. Harley? That's a, that's a nice. Yeah, exactly. Name. She's got the um pigtails as well. She does. <laughs> you know, I hadn't made that distinction till now. Okay, so, so yeah, shall yeah, I explain? Please, please shall I explain, the lady, to you. So you're not wrong about the sitting there looking pretty, since she is the ultimate mod. I'm, I'm just um, like, there we go. <laughs> I believe that's her, I believe that's her talent anyway. Um, the ultimate model, mm-hmm. uh, and her name is Junko Enoshima. Okay. Um, so she's she's a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, you I think you're gonna like her oh. a lot if you actually get around to playing the series. Um, for obvious reasons. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, so I have one more character to show you. I figured out what the fuck was going because I forgot okay. massive plot details. You got some massive plot <laughs> so details next to the plot details on your screens, folks. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, fans are gonna find that. All right. All right. Gonna put, you do realize so, this is going on Reddit as well when it comes out. <laughs> Oh, absolutely! This is going on Reddit. If you don't post it, I'm going. Okay. To. 
<laughs> anyway, what's up? <laughs> I'd put that shit. Uh, this shit's going right to the subreddit for this game. I hope you realize yeah, that. Yeah, I just had to go through all the editing for it. Because there's an hour. I had to yeah, find well, a way to put the pictures in. Thanks, me. <laughs> I'm it's sorry. okay. <laughs> hey. For the record, there are two more casts, and they get a lot weirder. Okay, so next person, next person. Okay, so this is this is one more character. Yeah. Not a student. Not a student. The, this is not a student. Uh, so you're going to tell me about this character. It's not going to be very hard. This is one of the teachers. It's actually the principal. Factual. <laughs> this is the headmaster. Yes. Um, it's a big teddy bear that's got doesn't have magical powers, but will just randomly show up during things happening. Also factual. <laughs> um, it has a good and evil side. However, I do believe that the um, the sides would be inverted based on because it's a two-dimensional character, so the evil stuff happens when the white part is showing and the nice stuff happens when the black part is showing. That's an interesting theory, actually. I like that. And, um, he's actually got it in for the main protagonist because he doesn't believe it belongs in the school and the lottery was false. So he keeps putting, trying to put the protagonist into situations that he can't get out of and will probably get expelled for. Good fucking lord, why is this all so accurate? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it, so what do you think this... this uh? This buddy's named. He he only has one name. It's a, it's a mon in there. Um, okay, so bear. I'm gonna call him um Yin. Yin. Like Yin Yang, but just Yin. Okay. Just Yin. Okay. Um. So. Uh, th this is like spoiling like the first thirty minutes of the game, and it's like kind of obvious what the game's all about yeah. anyway. So this is Monokuma. Okay. Uh, he is the ultimate headmaster. It, so he's the headmaster of Hope's Big yes. Academy. And basically, the plot of the story is 15 students get locked into a situation by Monokuma here. So, so they're locked in this school. Yeah. And the, the situation is, is if they want to escape, they have to murder someone and get away with it. So Daganropa is, in fact, Battle Royale, the video game. Yeah, it's it's a battle royale murder mystery. That sounds so cool. It's it's kind of funky, honestly. Yeah, I kind of love it. Uh, as, as you can see, why I'm even doing yeah, this I'm video just, with yeah, you. Just like, okay, uh, I need to react to these characters, and that's, uh, I'm, apparently I figured yeah. out what all of them do. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know these these have pretty good bands. I I'm gonna I'm gonna show you next time, and you're just gonna be like, "What the fuck even is this person?" Probably. And so anyway, so Monokuma, he's he's the mascot character. Obviously, he's sadistic. He's funny though. He's you know, you hate him but you love him. You know. Uh, so he's um, he's Loki. He's. Well, kind of, but he's also like lawful to a fault. Oh. I'd, I'd call him like lawful. I'd call him lawful evil. You know okay, I mean? so um, because basically the way this like, is run he'd is be he's like, like Palpatine, then. Kind of. So like the way this is run is he goes, look, one of you has to kill another one of you, and get away with oh. it. Then we're gonna hold a trial, right? So then we're going to hold a trial. I'm going to act as a lay judge. I won't mess with the investigation. I won't mess with the murder. Yeah. Then you go into the trial. You decide who the culprit. And if you're right, I kill them. Oh. Wrong, I kill all of you. Oh. Except the person. Except the person who got away with the murder. They get to go free. Oh. So he's, you know, kind of a shithead. He's kind of funny, but he's also, yeah. you know, kind of the executioner. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so. Yeah, so th that's Monokuma for you. <laughs>
I, I basically just explained like the first hour of That's gameplay, okay. but who cares? We explained but, all the characters you, you anyway, know. and you can what, read. You can probably read a synopsis in a wiki if you don't feel like playing the game. For, for those you do like, think you'll enjoy this Please game. Play the go game. play the game. It's probably on Steam somewhere. There's like six games of it, I believe. Um, no, there are four. Well, three mainline games and another one. I'll talk about the other one. Oh. Well, okay. People are gonna get pissed if I leave it like that. Oh. It's it's not a bad game. It's not a bad game at all. But it's also quite unlike the other ones in the so series. So it's the Devil May Cry Four of the Dragon Robot series. Well, Devil May Cry Four was still like a hack and slash, wasn't it? Yeah, but so was Scalar. So like well, okay, the thing about Dangan Rapa is it's like a it's a murder mystery visual novel, yeah. right? Uh, uh Ultra Despair Girls, which is the kind of the outlier. Um, is more like action oriented. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's. It, I mean, it's equally as weird, if not weirder, than any other Danganronpa game. But um, still worth still worth yeah. playing, apparently. So um, with that we're gonna end that little re- no, absolutely worth this playing. little reaction video. Yeah, let me so, see. Uh, is there is another pick? Is another character we're going over? No, I was just looking up right now. Uh, uh, the first Danganronpa game, Trigger Happy Half. It's on Steam for twenty bucks, or you can buy a three for sixty. Yeah. And if we get enough comments, I might just throw one at someone. Who knows? Uh, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this has actually been a lot oh, of fun. Good. I actually hope I hope we can do this again because the other well, casts I'll, actually have a lot. If more we get enough likes and comments and stuff at the end of this video, because well, we'll do more because. Oh, yeah, I'm, I forgot. That's how YouTube very, works. Very results based. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. You're right. But, you know, this was yeah. fun. Okay, was so fun. thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode or one of my Let's Plays. Later. Yep. Bye bye.